at Fairfax Station, Virginia today to show you one of our cedar timber structures around a swimming pool. And the beauty of this project, we're gonna talk about in further detail. Our cedar trust company has had all this lumber shipped in from the west coast, it's all western red cedar, and then do we give them the specifications, the size members and what we're looking for, what kind of trusses we're wanting, and they actually manufacture the whole thing in a plant, they ship it to us, and then we erect it on site with a crane. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the trusses that we had manufactured. The trusses can come in a lot of different designs and a lot of different details. The trusses give a level of elegance to the structure that is unsurpassed. They are eight by eight trusses. They have a post and peg type look to them with dowels driven in to give it that post and peg old world look. As well, they uh, have a fanned bracketry knee bracing in them which just is beautiful and it really sets the overall structure off. We space these trusses out about every four feet so that each truss has its own beauty and is not crowded by members around it and then in between that we run four by eight common rafters which then really add to the elegance of the truss itself. The beams that we used on top of our columns, they're, they're 10 by 12s, they're very massive, they give a very masculine look, and they allow us to carry all of these heavy elements with, a real, with real symmetry and balance. Above the trusses, the roof decking is a real accent to the whole structure. It's STK Western Red Cedar Tongue and Groove 2x6 that the rough side has been turned down and it just finishes off this beautiful cedar structure with every element of completion that you'd want to see. The stone fireplace is the perfect way to finish this project off. It, it closes in the back of the structure really nicely, gives the, the wood element a stone element which really two natural materials working together on, really comes together, it brings everything together, not too much wood, not too much stone, a good blend of natural materials. This is falcon mist, we've got it from a local vendor here, uh, the stone, and we ran the fireplace all the way up into the trusses, which gave it an absolutely beautiful look as you look through the trusses and see all this stone as the backdropping. We then built a stone hearth to set on, and then an old barn beam stone, uh, wood mantle that really complemented all of the wood elements of the structure. Another thing we did was create these wing walls that allowed us to, number one, complete a completely close off the pool equipment, which is back behind all of this. And then number two, you're able to frame along these walls to create our screen panels that really allowed us the full closure of screen protection from the bug element once the side panels have been dropped. And that is our next thing we want to talk to you about is the beautiful nature of this enclosed or totally open room all in the same room. The next thing I want to show you is probably the most awesome thing about this structure. This structure is an open pavilion, but at a flip of a remote control button, it is a totally enclosed screen structure. And Phantom Screens has allowed this to be so. We have installed boxes along the girder made out of cedar to create a cavity for our screen rollers to be hidden. Those screen rollers are motorized from internal within the screen. Flip of a button, 
these long open expanses all become screened and I'd like to show you how it works. One flip of a button. Now, the screens, once they reach the bottom, automatically stop and there are screens on three sides of the structure with all the other spaces being fixed screen, meaning that we actually created screen panels and stretched fabric in to close off all the areas up in the trusses and in the back next to the fireplace that I've already showed you. But this structure is two structures in one, a covered pavilion and a screened in pavilion, which allows this client to use it late at night when the bugs come out and gives them that protection they want, but during the open days where bugs aren't nearly an issue, they can have that open pavilion and interfacing with the pool a lot better. We had a special request of our trust manufacturer. Even though we were gonna screen this pavilion in and lose the beauty from the pool and the house of those beautiful trusses behind that screen, we still wanted to see one of those beautiful trusses out front. So he came up with an idea to do a flying truss that just absolutely hangs from the roof decking overhang, the two by six roof decking. And it was just a beautiful way to allow us to see those beautiful trusses even outside of the screen as well as inside of the screen. And then the next thing that we did was we wanted to give the, the roof some special snap. So instead of using the comp composition asphalt shingles that the house was built with, we decided to go to the standing seam metal roofing. And the owner picked the perfect color with this green backdrop of all the trees behind it and went with a green roof. And it really also, I thought, complemented the stone fireplace really well. 